What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. It is week 114 of Xur, and Xur is located on IO. By the wonderful giant scar in this cave over here somewhere. So let's go find out what he has this week. Xur, what's up dude? I got new moves again, man. I mean, I'm not that pathetic for terrible needs of your gifts. Sheesh. So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side real quick. I do apologize for the puppy noise in the background, but yeah. it's nothing I can really do. So, we have the weapon of the week, which is the Risk Runner. It is an exotic submachine gun. Then we have the Mask of the Quiet one for the Titan. Skull of Dire Ahamkara for the Warlock, as well as the Ophidius Faith for the Hunter. I hope that's how you pronounce that. Let's go ahead and start with the weapon of the week. To have a perk on this is Arc Conductor, which taking Arc Damage increases weapon power and Arc Resistance. Also, uh, kills extend the time in this overcharged state. Then we also have Arrowhead Break, Extended Mag, Super Conductor, whoops, which when Arc Conductor is active, shots fired, have a chance to become Chain Lightning and return ammo. Then we also have Short Action Stop. This has a catalyst that does not come with it. But it also has a uh, ornament, two ornaments that do not come with it either. But here they are. This is Summer Storm, and then this is Electric Violet. So real quick, if you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely a good exotic to have in PVE as well as PVP, but a little bit better in PVE. So I am going ahead and going to rate this a tier 1.5 in PVE, as well as a tier two. Uh, in PvP. If you guys don't know the tier skill, I would put it down in the description box below. Next, we have the Mask of the Quiet one. The to perk on this is Dreaded uh, Visage, which you gain ability energy when you're damaged, when critical, heal on kills. And this is a Void Armor tier, um, but it also does not have really that much good stats. Uh, if you guys know me, I prefer a plus 13 on any specific character stat. Um, plus, the total is actually pretty low as well. Um, probably going to do a video on what you should be looking for when it comes to character stats and totals. Um, just to help you guys out a little bit more. But, this is an okay exotic. Um, given that OEM is getting nerfed and pretty good nerf, uh, and One-Eyed Mask definitely needs a nerf, this may be a top, uh, not really top exotic, but it may be a option to use if One-Eyed Mask ends up being extremely terrible. So at this point, I am probably going to go ahead and rate it a tier uh, 2 in PvE, but a tier 2.5 in PvP. Next, Skull of Dia Ahamkara. We tried to perk on this is actual uh, grandeur, which Nova Bomb kills grant super energy. And this comes with an arc tier. However, however, one thing I like about this is that this is a plus 22 in discipline. It would be better if it was a plus 22 in intellect because this is an exotic that focuses on your super. But hey, what can you do? Plus 22 is definitely good. Uh, how do you say, character stat to have on an exotic, so definitely go ahead and grab this anyways. It is definitely going to be a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Next, this wonderful exotic here for the Hunter. Turn to perk on this is Scissor Fingers, which grants 2 knives per charge. And this is a Solar Armor tier. And once again, you can go ahead and put in whatever mods that you can. Uh, this does have a plus 16... Uh, strength with helps with your melee so this would be pretty good for uh, you to get however I am not a fan of this exotic at all yes it grants two knives per charge however it's <sighs> there better there are better exotics out there to use and this is probably one of those ones that you want to skip on but if you do use melee like constantly then go ahead and grab it that plus 16 in strength definitely helps out. Then we have your consumables, which is your uh, Nightfall Challenge card, your Invitation of uh, the High Priestess, or Invitation of the Nine, and this one is the High Priestess. However, I don't get this ever. 
And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram. Go ahead and buy these first if you do not have them before you get the Faded Engram for the simple fact of you do not want to waste um, legendary shards on these and just to get the same item. However, since I have all the exotics that you can get normally in the game through engrams or drops, um, this is just gonna be a waste anyways. However, if it is an armor piece, yay. If it's a weapon, then FMO. So we get the lucky raspberry. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So this has a plus 14 in mobility, plus 13 in recovery, as well as a plus 14 in strength. Has a total of 61. Uh, definitely a good lucky raspberry, uh, to say the least. It's better than the one I have um, in the vault. So definitely go ahead and keep that. And yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, try your guys' luck this week with the Faded Engram and let me know what it is that you guys actually get out of your Faded Engram in the comment section below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.